where does that dirt road go? I've asked myself that question many times while looking out at the world. Does it lead to adventure? A hidden river valley nestled from view? What will I find when I set off toward the horizon? Those are the best questions in the world, and today I'm having some of them answered outside Duchesne City on Highway 40 on the eastern side of Utah. My guides are a couple of Duchesne County commissioners who are proving that the world you know driving along the byways of the West is barely the tip of the iceberg. What you can discover on new paths is so much more surprising than you could ever imagine. Our destination is Yellowstone Canyon, an ATV trail that leads to beauty, tranquility, and memories that go back to childhood's earliest days. This is my favorite spot in Utah. I grew up uh, fishing the Yellowstone River and close to the end of the trailhead is, is our wilderness area and what you can see behind me is mostly wilderness. There's great campgrounds and a lot of isolation. It's, it's a little tougher to get here. It's not paved by any means. To the trailhead, if you'll come into Duchesne, uh, you pick up Highway 87, come north uh, to what we call a mountain home junction. You turn north there and then follow the signs towards Moon Lake. There's a lot of high lakes, great fishing, very relaxing. You leave the cell phones behind you and just enjoy yourself. And time basically stops up there, slows way down. It's just a, a very relaxing place to go. The trail takes us to overlooks of mountains and valleys that are completely out of view from paved thoroughfares just a short distance away. Here in Utah, we have access to thousands of miles of OHV routes on public lands, but Yellowstone Canyon is a bit different, requiring the same appreciation, but even more gratitude. We go from private land onto Ute tribal Indian land, and, and that's their land, and we respect that. Uh, we just need to follow the main road in, not to deviate, take any other routes, and then we come on to the Forest Service. With the trail switching from private to public and back, riders need to be just as conscientious to stay on the trail, maybe more so, since private landowners have the right to close access to their land if riders don't show proper respect. So long as we follow the rules, these trails will remain open for generations to come. The ride itself is only the first part of our adventure today. This area is famous for its pristine rivers and quiet solitude. And we take advantage of that fact, casting a line and reminiscing about the impacts these lands have on families today and stretching back in time to flickers of childhood remembrances. I've spent every year since I've been four years old fishing this river. I know where lots of holes are. <laughs> One of my very first memories was being in a tent with my grandpa when I was like four years old. He was a real fisherman. He would fish, it was before there were limits. I remember counting hundreds of fish that he would catch and, uh, you know, back in the 1950s. And so that was the start of it and it became a tradition. If you want to go up on the rivers, then you're talking probably a 25, 30 minute drive. We've got a lot of lodges that specialize in fly fishing and taking sportsmen out. The invitation to come out and experience these lesser known lands is especially strong this year as Duchesne County celebrates its 100th birthday in 2015. Celebrations are planned for the coming weeks that act as a welcome to the world and a first step toward adventure. We've really gone all out to enjoy this 100 year anniversary. We've, we've given out thousands of pins, uh, commemoration pins, recognizing Duchesne County. I personally have given them to people from all over the United States that, and they're appreciative of, of that. There's not many counties in, in the United States that can say in this day and time that they're only 100 years old. The big celebration will happen during our county fair, which is a week-long celebration. Events each day and different activities at night. We have from the monster trucks to demolition derby, a concert. This year is um, Neil McCoy. We have rodeo Friday and Saturday nights. We capitalize it all in one week with our fair. Where does that trail go? Well, now I know and I would go so far as to say I'm better for it. Experiences like this broaden our horizon and understanding of the world around us. They're irreplaceable in and of themselves, but the greatest thing about the West is that there are always new paths to discover, and that's definitely the case here outside of Duchesne, Utah. If you like the outdoors, you can't beat it. It's untouched, it's a great place to be. I'd have to agree.
or at your leisure. I'm Steven. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.